protagonist is going out tonight. Protagonist is going to do bad things. I'm ironing my Uncle Summer shirt. Wrinkle free. Mom taught me how to iron. Actually, she didn't. That's why it sucks. <laughs> I'm like terrified of two things. And you know this, Peter. I don't know why you want to film this like bothering me. But anyways, I'm terrified. One, alien abduction. It's the stupidest fear, but I really have it. Every time the lights go out, I think, motherfucker, I'm going to get abducted by an alien. And two, I'm terrified. Terrified of fucking <laughs> singing at all. Like, even like backups or gang vocals or anything. Like, if I'm in a karaoke bar, I get, like, fucking nervous. Are you afraid of unicorns, too? No, unicorns are cool. Would you ride that shit? I wouldn't ride a unicorn. I don't know how one man got to be so funny. <laughs> Alright, we're getting ready to start vocals on the EP. To give us a little tour. We haven't had a tour of this yet. <laughs> Here's the room where a lot of the magic happens. That's right. Here's the tracking room. Here's the drum Steph set. Is, Steph is setting up the vocal mic right now. That's right. It's where all the magic happens, right? This is where the magic happens, yeah. All that right. That's absolutely true. Now Peter's going to show you where he's about to pee. Here's the machine. All right. An old, um, what it's we call this? a 3M 8-track machine. Rumor has it that that machine may have recorded the Beach Bowls. I don't know if that's true or not. But that'd be I want to believe it. Yeah, I, I want to, yeah, I'm going with it. Yeah. Yeah. Stefan keeps it in here because he wants this room to have good vibration. That's right. Good vibration. Good vibration. Good vibration. Right. Jack! So, I mean, so far, it's been awesome recording with Stefan. Uh, it's probably been my best recording experience so far. Um, he just has a lot of good ideas about melody. Just, you know, makes me feel comfortable. Makes everybody feel comfortable. In Des, we trust. Des Cadena, the fantastic singer for Black Flag. There's a certain way that Des delivers his singing. A certain rhythm and a certain feel to it that, that uh, I just really like. And so I was kind of saying to these guys, you know, Think about more like Des Canina. The key word became, in Des we trust. Because we know that Des will always guide us in the right way about how to deliver vocal. So in Des we trust. So right now we're going into another song on vocals. Keeping the shit nasty. Oh, yeah, nasty, nasty style? Yeah, Core's really into it over there. He's really awake and energetic. Later on, Core's going to tell you about how he shot himself. I literally had a dream of shit, and then... <laughs> you, <laughs> had you had a reel? You had a dream, you had a reel. And I was like, and then I fell back asleep, which I made fun of John for doing this for so long, I can't believe that just, that it happened. And I was like, I woke up, and I was like, well, maybe it didn't really happen. Maybe, you know, maybe I just jumped it, and I got in there, and I looked down at the undies, and I was like, no, that happened. Uh, We're about to sing. What are we going to do, woes? We're going to go, whoa. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. Kyle, don't be a fucking I feel pussy. like I'm going on a roller coaster. <laughs> it might be really bad, so if it's really bad, don't judge me. Don't tell me I'm ugly and I can't read good. Whoa! Whoa! Keeping those tubes moist. Yeah. Those cords moist. Whatever the hell is in yeah. your mouth. Yeah. You're moisten that shit for show. Yeah. So The Outsider is one of my favorite books, one of my favorite movies. And literally around the block from where we recorded is where a lot of the stuff in the book's written about, a lot of the stuff in the movie was shot. So right up here is the Circle Cinema that Pony Boy is talking about at the beginning and end of the book. Here it is. It looks like it was recently vacated. The whole back is gone, but the marquee's still out here. I'm not making fun of your mustache. Just because the thief's got off of most of my beard. 
Left me with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Left me with a mustache and a soul patch. <laughs> My DiMaggio-esque streak of not playing bass is about to come to an end, and I'm actually going to record on this record. So how was it recording with Protagonist? I had a fantastic time recording with Protagonist. That was kick-ass. And today was quite a busy day. We did, we did what, three songs on the bass? We did one and a half lead vocals and a shit ton, a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just worried like that. Um, did a whole bunch of other stuff. It's been an awesome week, despite like all kinds of weird happenings, trailers disappearing, wives ending up in the hospital, all kinds of crazy stuff with it kick-ass week these guys were awesome had a great time and i look forward to doing it again sometime oh yeah oh yeah see you soon yeah. hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah hell party yeah. Hell yeah. party right party party in des we trust <laughs> uh, recording went great uh we finished up here in about a week got these guys whipped into shape got me whipped into shape got you whipped into shape and it's been really great to have his input on uh our song you know, just get to get the best out of our takes and the best out of our session. So I think uh, people will be uh, really stoked on the new record. He has a way of pushing you to another level, which is just like refreshing. To have someone say like, you could do better. Great, but you could do better. Stop, tune. All right, but you could do better. Oh wow, you're right. <laughs> I can't do better. I think people who are already in the protagonist are gonna love it. And I think it'll turn a lot of people who haven't heard us or who don't like us onto us. Gained a whole new insight. I honestly look at the bass different now, thanks to this man. Honest to God. I'm going to be a fucking <laughs> Punisher on every site. Now. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> to impart a little of the, uh, of the old Yoda wisdom. There you go. Yeah. He who punishes only punishes themselves. I don't think I'm you, you, I you said it. You're I don't think you're punishing. Okay. We were trying to make out uh, really bad situations. We try to make them into really good situations. Is we've got, you know, got our trailer stolen and all of our gear in our trailer. But um, you know, we got to we got to record a record with Stephen Edgerton. Goodbye, Tulsa. As I discussed before, I kind of sort of shit myself last night. Now, what I did thinking it was a good idea. I'd Five something in the morning, as Peter Marillo told me what time it was, was to take my dirty underwear and throw them in this garbage can. Now, as you can see with this garbage can, the thing I did not notice is there's no garbage bag in it. Now, I'm not going to reach in that. Eh, yeah, I will. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> you can see where the main culprit was. <laughs> 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 Duffy, can you hand me some toilet paper?